Hi guys, Ace here. Um, doing a tutorial video in a format that I haven't done before. Uh, this is uh, a live action. It's uh, a sketch. A lot of people have been, you know, curious how I uh, how I sketch my drawings before I scan them and run them through Photoshop. So. I'm gonna do a a Pikachu, just a generic Pikachu, in my art style, of course. I just start with a regular number two pencil, as you can see here. Got my eraser, got my sharpener if I need it. What I usually do, I start with the toes. And I uh, make these little jagged, fuzzy, oval shapes that overlap each other. Like this. And then for the, uh, this one's a little too flat at the end. I do a lot of erasing when I, uh, when I sketch. That's why I have the eraser here. And it's also one of the reasons I have to run it through Photoshop so thoroughly to get rid of all those eraser marks at the end. When I, uh, before I start coloring and shading and stuff. There'll be a link to the coloring and shading tutorial in the description as well. Now let's mirror this. Do another one very, very, another foot paw right here. Now of course this isn't quite accurate to the uh, official art for Pikachu, uh, especially with the, the, the way I, that I draw the feet here. This is just my own art style. However you want to draw a Pikachu is up to you if you want to draw a Pikachu or whatever you want to draw. But uh, I like to draw them digitigrade. Uh, digitigrade meaning uh, all the weight is put on the toes and the heels are kind of just up in the air all the time so tippy toe a lot of furry creatures uh, have that uh, Brakeson and Lucario come to mind as well as Renamon they always stand on their toes I'm going to turn this sideways while I... I'm going to have to move this lamp because uh, you can't see under the shadow. There we go. That's a little better. Let's uh, just connect this with uh, sort of a bit of a wave for the, uh, well, the crotch <laughs> or the butt or whatever you want. I don't know how well you guys can see this. Okay, I can do better than that. Let's see. Yeah. For the uh, the hips. Like that. And then narrow it out towards the chest. Do a little bit of more jagged line. That's how I draw fur too. The uh, little jagged lines. You'll see me do that a lot. Uh, let's do this paw first, and for the uh, the fingers, like so, the index curls in a bit, the thumb goes like that. Not really sure <laughs> what else to add for commentary here, I've never actually uh, done a tutorial of how I sketch my art. <laughs> Most people haven't even seen my art sketches. They see the finished product. But anyway, and I, think I can round that out a bit more. Like this. So really you're 
assuming you can even see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's, um, you're learning from watching more than my commentary. <laughs> Since I honestly don't know what to add for commentary, yeah, this is a little bit shorter than the other one, so let's fix that. Make it a little bit longer. There we go. There we go. There we go. And now they match. There we go. Like that. Turn it on its side again. That's uh now for the head. I'm going to uh again it's when I draw furry fluffy things, it's a lot of this jagged line action here. I rarely ever do smooth lines except when I'm drawing something that isn't fluffy, like uh Say, for example, uh, a Snivy or a Chikorita or something that's more s supposed to be more smooth. I'll draw them smooth without the jagged lines. Same to a degree for most clothing. I'll draw those smooth. I want these two lines to mirror, so now the ears like that, and an amazing commentary, isn't it? <laughs> I just don't know what to say, I just draw. Um, that one's a little thicker than the other, so let's narrow that out. Like that. Now, uh, the, uh, the tips of the ears, they usually tend to curl up that way, diagonally. It's, uh, now for the top of the head. It's a little bit, uh, off kilter and a little bit too, uh, here we go. There. The nose, I start with, uh, a line here to emphasize how, uh, you know, its snout sticks out just a little bit. A little triangle for the nose. Little, the, the red cheeks, draw them as ovals because of the angle of perspective. They're on the sides of the cheeks, so when you're looking at them straight forward, they should be a little bit oval shape looking. Because perspective. Um, again, you're going to see me do a lot of the erasing. That's why I have the eraser there. I'll always use the eraser every single time. Because I always screw something up. It's a lot of trial and error. Even something like this that I've drawn hundreds of times now. I, I still... Always have to use the eraser. The mouth. Like that. Have it curl up like that. It's not quite centered. I'm very meticulous when it comes to this sort of thing now. Good enough just isn't good enough. Now the eyes. I like to draw eyes, uh, like, again, much like the feet, it's not quite accurate to the, uh, not completely accurate to the official art, but I feel this makes them look more expressive, giving them more cartoony, expressive eyes, the little eyebrow there, so it looks like it's smirking. It's, uh, the other one now. Have this eye doing that. Have 
Again, it's a little smirk at you. <laughs> like that. It's a little line under there to emphasize it's sort of... The bottom of the eyelid is squinting upward a bit. I'll leave those that way for now. The, since, uh, again, with the official art, uh, Pikachu don't really have pupils or irises like although lately I have been drawing most Pikachu with them this one doesn't necessarily need to have them let's uh, bring the shoulders up a little bit now let's finish off with the tail let's do a little thing right there another little Thing right there, and oops, that's uh, let's angle this up so that it has room on the page. There we go. Big, big lightning bolt shaped tail. There, um. I'm gonna do this so that it's a bit more dynamic. And there you have a sketch of a Pikachu. It's not absolutely perfect, but it's pretty good. This is uh this is typically how I draw Pikachu. Though if I'm trying to draw my uh, Pokesona Ace, what I'll usually do is I'll add a glove on his right paw and smooth out the uh, fluff here. Like I said, I draw clothing smooth. I'll do uh, his jacket, his sweater jacket, like, you know, I Actually, you can see that I'm wearing it. It's what I always wear. The shirt under it. And smooth these out as well. In fact, that means I'm going to need to do this. Do the... Uh, Make it match on both sides. I'm doing this lighter since I'm going to erase the uh, jacket for the next part. But then I do like that and there's uh... Because the uh... <clears throat> it's always partially open. Here goes the zipper, an oval smaller, narrower oval, tiny oval, little oval in there, a little rectangle for the uh, bottom of the zipper. Now, the way that I draw the zipper, little uh, jigsaw puzzle uh, things, because that's how zippers work. They fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. There we go. The uh, line up the um, bottom there, uh, the pockets, little, re little distorted rectangles because perspective. There we go. That's uh, a little tuft of fur there. And for his hair, I do this. that and I'll need to erase this a little bit but I'll bring it back when I uh... or maybe I'll just draw them like this or maybe I'll just make it ace <laughs> in which case let's uh... like that his uh... irises because I draw Ace with pupils and irises now. Again, I feel like it makes him more expressive. There we go. It's 
Ace the Pikachu, aka me, little uh, wrinkle lines for the uh, the glove, a couple little wrinkle lines for shoulders, and there we go. Now that we have the pencil sketch done, this is a special type of art pen. It's not a ballpoint pen. It's more like a Sharpie, but with a, such a fine tip, it behaves almost like a ballpoint pen. But it's much smoother and it's, it's basically designed for drawing and for art. You get a very bold black ink line here. Basically all I do is I just repeat over where I pencil sketched with the ink. I never start with the ink because as you saw throughout the first half of this video I erase a lot, so, and you can't erase this. <laughs> you can't erase ink. You'd have to start from scratch, and that would be very wasteful. <laughs> I'd go through so much paper, and this, this is, this is cardstock here, because I press down so hard that when I draw that, if I tried to use, like, regular printer paper, it would rip. <laughs> or just crump, crumple up. So I, I get the, I use the good stuff. Here we go. Just outline over everything that I already did. Like that. Yeah, and that. Little wrinkle lines. Again with the uh, hand paws. The jacket. There we go. It's the little cuffs. And there's the, uh, the f flaps for the top of the thing because I never have it fully zipped up. Honestly, who does? <laughs> Anyone who wears a sweater jacket, who actually has it fully zipped up, ever? <laughs> there we go. Just repeat what I did before, but... Now with the ink. Here we go. There we go. The pockets. Little rectangles Go over them with the pen, little jigsaw zipper teeth. There we go. Little fluff tuft on his chest. Little uh, thigh. Uh, Outlines. Let's do the gloved paw now. This one's smoother. Don't need to do the jagged thing. Do the cuff again. Little uh, knuckle wrinkles. There we go. Over that again. Turn around its side to. Repeat what I did with the head. There we go. Cheeks. Big, uh, puffy cheeks. Let's redo the mouth. And I'm gonna add another little curved line here because he's smirking. So the little face wrinkle thing when you're smiling or smirking. Because I like to draw my Pikachu expressive. <laughs> the 
nose again. I think you're going to try to make the nose a little bit smaller this time. Another reason why I start with pencil, because sometimes as I, I notice when I finish the pencil sketch, there are things that I can improve. Let's do the eyes. Like that. Pupils. The eyebrow expression smirk things. <laughs> I am good at commentary. <laughs> The other people in Iris. There we go. Now, outline sketch the ears again. Let's start from up here on this one, above the uh, the hair tuft. Now, just the ear tips. Go to the, uh, the hair tuft. This time, the jagged lines will extend into the main body of hair itself because that's typically how, you know, it's not solid, it's made of like hundreds of thousands of hairs, so. I'm good at this. <laughs> I mean, I'm good at drawing, but like commentary. <laughs> I don't talk very much. I am not a social person. <laughs> Here we go. That's it's a little thicker than it needs to be, but that can be fixed in Photoshop. Just outline the tail. There we go. And there we go. There we have the the sketch. It's fully uh, penciled and inked. Now just uh, give it a good shake. Get all the... Now what I do... I use the eraser over the entire thing, firmly but carefully, so that the pencil marks go away, leaving just the ink. That makes the process of uh, cleaning it up in Photoshop so much easier. Especially when I boost the contrast. It's not as much pencil smudge that I have to meticulously uh, get rid of. Now, sometimes what happens when I do this is that it reveals flaws in the uh, the ink that I have to go over again. Some parts, some patches that are a bit thinner than they should be, or even gaps altogether. Sometimes because I push so hard that I actually strip away layers of the paper itself. <laughs> okay. Eraser again, because there's more pencil here. There we go. There we go. Here we go. That's a pencil smudge. Compared to most of my drawings, this is like a very little amount of pencil smudge because this is something I draw a lot. For things that I've, uh, I don't have as much experience drawing, it's just there's more pencil smudge than actual art. <laughs> so it's an ordeal trying to get rid of all that. So, um, thicken these lines a little bit, connect that. It helps to not have any gaps, because when I use the uh, magic wand tool in Photoshop, it will detect those gaps and go right through them. I 
mean, I can fix that with the brush tool, but it's easier if I do it in the ink sketch first. But uh, there you go. It's uh, Ace the Pikachu in sketch form. Well, uh, that concludes this tutorial. Wait, there's... <laughs> See, I always miss stuff. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Brush off the uh, excess erase eraser bits. I have been Ace. Keep it up your sleeve. Until the next video, bye.